Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we have the final, final, final session. It's only going to be about 15 minutes long, but it's your chance, your chance to support the best startup businesses in Latin America. Okay, before we just do this, we have one other lucky winner from the Fox Draw. It is Alejandro Torres from Mindshare. Is he here? You've just won an iPad. Okay, so this is how it works, guys. Do you have a voting slip? If you don't, they're being handed out now around the rooms. Please take one. Yeah? Hands up who has a voting slip. All of you, wave one. Because you are going to vote for the presentation that you believe is the most innovative and exciting startup in the region. Show me your voting papers, ladies and gentlemen. When you've seen the three presentations, you're going to tick the box and hand these voting papers back to my team who are standing by the exit doors, OK? Are we ready? OK, to introduce Media Sparks, I'd like to welcome from the Knight Foundation, Mr. Mac Hagdorn. How are you doing? <laughs> Good. Give him a round of applause. Thank you very much. It is a pleasure to be here. We'll get right to it. You know, this was uh, an idea that we came up with last year when I had the opportunity to be here at Festival of Media. Uh, and we're doing it with Knight Foundation along with Nobox and the Lab Miami. And it started last Tuesday when we gathered at the Lab Miami, 10 companies all pitching. Uh, and now these are the three finalists. Each five minutes uh, will give their pitch. And so let's, let's get right to it. So to, first off, Fernando Cascuela from Every Post. Hello, everyone. My name is Fernando Cuscuela. I'm the co-founder and CEO of EveryPost, a tool that redefines social media publishing. First of all, I want to introduce my team. With Leandro, the other co-founder, we have been working in the media industry for more than 14 years. Companies like AOL, Turn International, and CNN Español. And before, we founded in Argentina two other companies, Dos Al Cubo, which is the largest content management system company in Argentina and Latin America, and ClickBanker, a digital marketing agency. So due to our experience, we detected a problem. Working with CMS and with social media, we detected that there exists a lot of different social media marketing tools, like, for example, Hootsuite. But let me show you what says Hootsuite, our users about Hootsuite about every post. Hello, every post, by Hootsuite. And why is that? Because we have a tool that facilitates content creation and leverages social media platform features. We have a unique tool in the market that allows to customize the content for every channel. This thing is, uh, is currently under our IP, and we have the non-provisional patent. OK, the kind of users that are using every post are small and medium business, small and medium agencies in Latin America mainly, independent professionals, and also journalists and bloggers. OK, our business model is freemium. Uh, right now, we have five different plans, starting from zero to $1,000 for the enterprise segment. But also, we are starting to have another revenue stream, which will become, huge, will become bigger than the subscription model. We are allowing companies, we are allowing companies to post and also to promote their own posts through Facebook, to Twitter, and to the LinkedIn through the ads. We will become also an ad network inside every post. We have more than 200,020 active users, and we are growing 10% per week every month. Yeah. Two weeks ago, we surpassed the traffic. I mean, we surpassed the kind of downloads on, to Hootsuite and Buffer. We have between 15,000 and 20,000 downloads per month organically, without spending any money on advertising. Our users love us. And why is that? Because we have more than 4,000 reviews with 4.5 stars from different countries all around the world. Our tool is in six different languages, Spanish, uh, English, Portuguese, Japanese, German, and French. And as you can see, in every store, is with 4.4 stars and also with five stars in, in, in some others, like Germany, for example. OK, 
We closed, we recently closed an 850K seed round, mainly from investors here in Miami, Silicon Valley, Buenos Aires, and Latin America. We can mention, for example, we have in our board to uh, Alexander Huhagen, which is the VP of Facebook Latin America, Mark Kingdom, which is one of the first investors at Twitter. We have Stefano Sunino, the president of JWBT, Guillermo Gomide from Agencia Casa in Brazil, which is also from WBPP. Uh, and we are using this money for product development, customer acquisition mainly in LATAM, uh, where we understand they are starting to take seriously social media. Uh, and finally, to, to hire here in Miami business development guy. Okay, for, in order to start, I will show you a short video, short demo video, in order to let you know what is the next. We, we are a mobile first tool, we decided to do this because we detected, of course, a poor tool on mobile for hot suite and buffer. And we are launching a web version uh, on October 15. Anyone is invited to go to our site uh, to get an early subscription and also a 20% uh, in any of our plans. And here you will see a short video of every post. Okay, as you can see, it's like a content management system for social network. It's very easy to use. You can write the content. You can select content from the right side from different sources like YouTube, Flickr, Instagram, RSS. And also, you can choose your own uh, source of content, for example, Dropbox or Google Drive. Once you select your content, you can drag and drop easily. You can uh, select the social networks and go network by network, customizing and personalizing the content. For example, here you are including a hashtag in Twitter, which is not the same on Google Plus, neither on Twitter, or neither on Google, neither on Google Plus, neither on Facebook. Sorry. And finally, you go to the the, the posting uh, button, and it's it's very simple and very easy to use. So I'm finishing exactly at the right time. And any uh, another one, I, I invite you to join our early pre subscription in our website and get another twenty percent of any other plan starting October twenty. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. And remember that my name is Fernando, and this is every post. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Excellent. You know, it's, I can't help but notice here, you know, one of the things that's been amazing over the past couple of years is how the startup and entrepreneurial community in Miami has just been exploding. Should note that all three of our finalist entrepreneurs here, all based here in Miami. So next up, Andre Dovale, Henprint. Thank you. Hello. Yep. Hello, everyone. My name is Andrea Dovali. I'm with Handprint. Um, everyone in this room is trying to find out more about the consumers or target them with ads. Um, so let me ask you this. What are consumers doing when they're out of your country? Or what are visitors doing when they're in your country? And I'll tell you, they're spending a lot of money. 69 million people came to the US last year and spent, and spent $152 billion. I'm going to look over there. That's easier. Special mention to Brazilians, who are the most targeted audience when it comes to Florida. They're single-handedly holding up the economy. You speak to anybody in real estate, hospitality, or retail, they're asking, where are they going? What are they doing? How can I get them in my store? So here's where we're focusing. The thing is, between the international visitor and the local ecosystem, there is a disconnect. From a tourist perspective, and I think a lot of you who are coming from Latin America are feeling this, it's about roaming. You can't use your phone, you can't connect, you don't know which local apps to order cars from. It's a mess. From the local ecosystem's perspective, they're still collecting data with clipboards at shopping malls at airports. This is incredibly ineffective, inefficient, and simply just 1992. And I'll tell you something else. Brochures are the number one influencer of international visitors in the US. This is crazy. This is, this is absolutely nuts. So we're trying to modernize this connection between the local visitor and the local ecosystem. Now, wouldn't it be cool, it would be amazing, and imagine all the cool things you could do if you could put a smartphone in every single visitor's hands, or at least a big portion of them. And that's what we're doing. We are distributing through top tour operators in Brazil and several other countries, but Brazil is our main focus. A crazy deal, 45 bucks for 15 days, unlimited data, unlimited everything. Uh, people are loving it, and um, it's, uh, it, it's really satisfying to, to solve a, a big problem for visitors and make their experiences locally even better. From the local ecosystem perspective, they see it as a revolutionary way to target these people and, and measure ROI in their campaigns and, and get more insightful data about what people are doing. So 
Obviously, this is our first step, and we're extending this out to apps, APIs, and other devices to kind of build out the, the scope. But let me show you a, um, just a few cool things that we we're seeing, starting to see so far with our data sets. Um, this is something that's really interesting. Um, there are two main outlet malls in Miami, Dolphin Mall and Sawgrass Mills. And the interesting, is, the interesting thing is, 45% of people who come to Miami go to either one or both. 27% go to both. So from a marketing objective perspective in a campaign, you say, listen, I want, to mark, I want to steal market share from Dolphin Mall, and what about the both, the 27%? You want to get them in your store first, while their pockets are fuller. When it comes to international visitors, you have a decreasing line of spend available, of budget available. So we've, we, we discovered this temporal element to the visitor and visitor marketing. And something we showed Aventura Mall, which is really impactful for them, was this. 26% of people that go to Aventura Mall go there on their day of arrival. This is amazing. This is like, they were odd at this. And, but the, I guess the, the options are limitless. I mean, what we can do, we can measure ROI on existing campaigns. We can work alongside other marketing campaigns. We can, uh, we can do beta testing of promotions. We can, do, we, can, we can serve contextual survey questions so you don't have to have the clipboards and even capture that subject to data, subjective data. And we have some fantastic partners already helping us um, build this out, build this content out, and test um, to make sure it's, it's really innovative, it's insightful, and more than anything, actionable. Um, we're launching our first free report on the Brazilian traveler to the US um, in January. I invite everyone to um, sign up on our, uh, on our insight site. It's called GuideLight. And, um, and that's pretty much it. Also, we have a fantastic media program for cell phones. So if um, any of you guys are coming to the US next time, give me a ring. I'll, I'll hook you up. 37 seconds to spare. <laughs> And last, but certainly not least, now everyone has something to vote with, yes? If you don't, raise your hands and someone will get on to you. Last, but certainly not least, David Uribe, Smart Bemo. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, hey guys, after two days of Congress or festival here, I'm pretty sure that you're already seeing the trend, right? Data innovation, software, analysis, information, right? There is no secret that we're in the era or era of data, um, but to us, that's just not enough. To us, it's really important to, to know and, and be certain that we're doing the right thing with data. We're reading the numbers and we're actually creating some actions with it. That's why we created the first smart posting tool that actually predicts behavior before you go out with social media content and media content, and that's called Smart Beam. All right, so I'm gonna tell you a little story. You know, one day about two years ago, I got a client from a, a call from a client. The client, um, the first ever client who told us, listen, I wanna grow, but it's not just about be, having big audiences. I also need some engaging content on a regular basis. I don't wanna see more ups and downs on engagement. I wanna see some, something sustainable. So we ask ourselves, what, would, what do we believe in? Because as an agency, we always do creative content, contests, and all those things, but what we get from that is just ups and downs, right? Same thing, and the client wasn't happy about that. So we realized that we believe in numbers, right? We, I'm a creative director, but I, I have a math background, and I do understand and love numbers. So I draw something like this on my office, and it was basically the three channels that we were posting for the client. We're using Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, three formats that you, you can post on digital media, you know, video, text, and um, images. And we basically created three topics. We attribute three topics, 33% of the communication will go to each of them. So what we did was basically every post on uh, each of the social channels, we'll gather data and we'll test different times and understand what will work better, right? Um, so for instance, Facebook, 7 a.m., Monday, topic A, format video, post data. Then Twitter, 11 a.m., topic B, um, data. Then uh, Instagram, uh, topic C, uh, 5 p.m. data, and so on and so forth. Guys, after 52 days, we found a pattern because everything is just data. It's just statistics. It's just A-B testing. When you do the right analysis, you'll find answers, and that's what you have to do nowadays when we're in the era of information. Pay attention to the numbers, find the patterns, and do it better, all right? So the formula was right in front of our eyes. When you have a big problem, we basically go and dig too deep into solutions. 
but most of the times the solutions are just there. For us, the solution was basically to have the right message, the right format, and the right timing. Three very essential things when it comes to creating content for digital. Obviously, we always try to be as an agency, and as a recommendation, useful, entertaining, and informative. That to us is mandatory with the content. So what Smart Vimo does um, is that predicts so before you actually go out with your content, it's going to tell you when to post it, which format to post, and um, in which channel to post. This is how a dashboard looks like. Um, and what we do is A-B testing with a lot of information, a big algorithm. So you run your data, you hook up your campaign, any of the social channels, and this will tell you ahead of time, a week ahead, or two weeks ahead, or a month ahead, what should you be, be posting. Um, we got the question, how does the algorithm look like? It's kind of complicated. It's a lot of data and math, and, but I'm going to try to explain it real simple. Message format timing, obviously we attribute a weight or a value to likes, comments, and shares because when you get a share or a retweet, that means a lot more than when you get a like when it comes to uh, impressions. So we added you know, some values to that. Real-time industry data, we're hooked up with Google, of course. Um, so we get real-time industry data. Uh, we do seven days, 24 hours, three formats, video, text, image. Uh, on four topics, we always recommend as an agency that if you're Nike or Coca-Cola or whoever, you should at least take three or four topics, content pillars, and always talk about that, all right? So what we're doing, guys, is basically creating 30,000 predictions per day, 30,000 predictions per day, every six hours, all right? Every six hours, we swipe in the system, and it's recommending you what to post based on what we're seeing on the internet. That's kind of the formula, and we have another added value is the secret sauce that we also do regressions on the platform itself. We go back on what's working in the past and we bring it up. Um, besides predicting, we also do, we have five interesting things as well. Campaign is basically a, a tool where you're gonna be able to share content with your agency uh, and your client. The client is gonna be able to tell you yes or no in the post rather than sending all those Excel annoying sheets. We're gonna have post optimizer, real-time hashtags, real-time recommendations, social media uh, ROI maximizer is gonna recommend you which post to promote uh, rather than just doing it empirically. A smart posting tool, a smart metrics is basically gonna tell you qualitative, qualitatively what to do. Post generator is to create posts. Um, what do we get from this? I have five seconds, so big numbers, of course. Um, we're gonna do it for media as well, and time. <laughs> that was it. Anyway. Perfect. Perfect. Well, just wanna thank you, and thank you guys for, for staying with us for this. Um, and I would encourage you, for those who don't live in Miami, come check out what's happening with the startup and entrepreneurial <laughs> community here. It's really, really <laughs> interesting. These three entrepreneurs are all examples Thanks of so all much. what's per percolating up Thanks here so in Miami.